Haruyo Miyamoto. I am the correspondent from Tokyo Broadcasting System, which is a Japanese, uh, one of the largest commercial network in Japan. I've been working in the US for uh, more than three and a half years, uh, and I am based in New York City. I usually cover US domestic news all across the US, and also I am covering the United Nations as well. My impression on the events that took place in the last few weeks is an astonishing. I never thought that this kind of thing could actually happen in the United States, where the most developed and most strong democracy is. But as we look back what happened over the last four years, we should have expected that because the rhetoric that Mr. Trump has been using is very dangerous. Everyone was pointing out about that, but it turned out to become the reality. And I, as a person working in the media industry, I should have warned about this. To our audience as well. So the folks back in Japan were very surprised as well. But unfortunately, there are some Japanese Trump supporters back in Japan as well. Somehow he's very popular among some Japanese people、uh, because he, he is such a, you know, he knows how to entertain people. He's In a way, fun guy,、um, show business guy, and he has visited Japan as well. And he was very much welcomed by a huge crowd. And so, still today, there are some Japanese people who think that President elect Biden wasn't elected fair and square. That's because of、um, so much disinformation on the internet and among some Japanese people. So, yes, about the Capitol riot that took place on January 6th.、Um, basically, people were surprised, but some people support what President Trump has been alleging. There were actually rallies for President Trump in Japan.、Um, some of them believe that、uh, you know, the QAnon conspiracy theory is. Is now spreading at the dark corner of the internet. <laughs> And we are struggling as a media industry how to convey the correct, accurate information to our viewers. So, my expectation to the new incoming in that,、uh, administration is that they will try to reach out as many people as possible. I, I hope he tries to unite. The people and also spread the correct, accurate information, not only on elections, but also on COVID 19 response too, because there are still some people who are skeptical about the pandemic itself, and some people who don't want to get vaccinated because they are afraid. So I really hope the Biden administration can、um, encourage people. To get the right information and to、um, obey the science and listen to Dr. Fauci. So, my message to the American people would be that let's listen to the other side. And people who support the Trump administration or people who support Biden administration, it doesn't matter. You are all American, and the other side is not the enemy of you, it's just who, people who have. Who happen to have a different opinion. So, we, I think we can start conversation not yelling at each other or screaming at each other, but let's listen to each other and try to understand. Maybe you can't change somebody's opinion, but I think you can try to understand each other at least.